do know that the incidence of genetic disease among South Asians is double that of Western Europe and North America? Imagine if you or your partner was a carrier for a genetic disease, one that you could pass on to your children. Despite making up about half of the world population, Asians account for less than 1% of whole genome databases. Hi, I'm Lakshmi, Program Director for Genome Asia 100K, an initiative to sequence people from 28 countries across Asia and make that genetic data available for researchers for further study. Nearly all diseases have a genetic component. Your genome is your complete set of DNA. It has all the information necessary to grow, develop, and maintain you. Genetic diseases are a group of diseases where the problem lies in a, a defect in the genome. So the entire life is based on this sequence of DNA. Any mistakes in the DNA and that leads to disease. One region especially of interest is South Asia, including the countries of Bangladesh, Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. In India alone, over one million children are born every year with a genetic disorder. Despite the scale of the problem, many people, even within the South Asian community, are not aware of the risk within their genes. We spoke to some people in London's Whitechapel neighborhood about carrier tests and whether they knew about the high incidence of genetic disorders among South Asians. Obviously, I think I have a good gene. <laughs> I'm big and tall, nice and muscular. Well, in South Asia, there are like uh, the marriages between the cousins. So that creates a big problem. So like my mother died of cancer. How come they end up with disease like that? You know, oh, you've got high blood pressure, you've got diabetes, you've got everything purely because of your diet. South Asia contributes one quarter of the world's population. And this is a population which uh, is very poorly studied. The lack of genetic data and genetic studies it's a big barrier to developing new diagnostics and new treatment. If you look at a rare genetic condition, these usually affect young children. Usually they are quite serious conditions. They do not have any treatment. It's a big burden not only on the child, but also on the parents, the family and society in general. So it's imperative for us to try and identify genetic markers for these disease and try to discover new treatment. Across the world, there have been successful examples wherein genomic sequencing has led to identification of new drugs that target that pathway. Genome Asia 100K is a unique and one-of-a-kind project, and we are committed to our mission to fill this gap in Asian genomic data. With support from experts in the field, we have already sequenced and analyzed 600 people from South Asia. With cost of sequencing at $1,000 per genome, we need to raise $100,000 to cover the cost of sequencing the next 100 individuals. South Asian genetics is a problem for South Asians, and that needs to be studied to benefit the South Asians who suffer from these diseases. This is why we need your support to map the gap in genomic data. Please contribute to our campaign today and tell your friends, family, and community. Thank you for listening, and we hope you'll support our mission to better understand, screen, and treat genetic diseases in all South Asian communities.